we're talking about Furling Etude number 38, which is one of the Allstate Etudes in Texas for 2021-2022. So you've heard me play at the beginning with the score. Hopefully that was easy to follow. We're going to talk about three key things that will knock people out in this Etude and things you can do to practice so that you can be successful in your region and Allstate auditions. So let's get into it. First thing that you should do to tackle this etude is change your shirt color. So you really want to have control of the B major scale. Playing in five sharps is a lot more sharps than what most people are used to in their band classes. So you want to have absolute mastery over this key. I mean playing your scales. Scales and thirds. And even some arpeggio exercises. Now don't worry, you don't have to make up all these exercises by yourself. You can check out some technique resources like the Geckler Method book or the Vatamecum. Or if you're feeling more advanced and want to sink your teeth into some real technical exercises, you can check out the David Hype book. I'll have links to all these resources in the description below. Additionally, you can check out this video I made about playing your scales and different ways that you can work on them to really gain mastery so that it really comes out in your etudes and you can really rise to the top of the pack. The second thing that you need to take care of in order to do well on your audition, either for region or all state, is to master the rhythm. This etude looks like it's easy because there's all these eighth notes, but it's really important that you feel it in a big two. Additionally, you want to make sure that it's clear that the microbeats, the little beats, the triplets versus eighth notes versus grace notes versus sixteenth notes are very distinct. For example, there's a figure that comes back a few times and it's always written slightly different and it should sound different. And this can be found in the third measure. The first time it appears, it's as a trill and triplet. So we have ba 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 ba. You want to be thinking the triplet subdivision. And be feeling that big beat as well as the micro subdivision as a triplet. The second time this figure appears is in measure 26, where it's written as a trill and some grace notes. So that notch log at the end of the trill, we want it to be graceful into the next downbeat. The last time it appears is in measure 36, where it now it's written as a trill plus 16th notes. make sure that the rhythm is very marked with and without the trill. Now the third feature that you need to master in order to really stand out in your region or old state auditions is very simple and yet very easily overlooked. But before we get into that, I just want to remind you that there are tons of free oboe resources, including a guide on how to prepare and win your all state auditions on uh, obofiles.com. So you can check out the link in the description to learn more about the oboe practice, remaking, things like this, as well as preparing for your region and all state auditions. I mean, I wish I, I wish this existed when I was in high school. So if you're preparing for your high school auditions or even your college auditions, this is a great resource and I hope you can get the most use out of it. And it's free. When are you gonna find this much useful free stuff out there? Tons of free stuff, go check it out. So the third thing that you need to have under your control is accents. So that's right, an accent has to start big and then come away. So we want the beginning of the note to have more energy than the end of the note. Now we don't want to punch the note in the face with our tongue, we want to show it with volume and fullness of tone. So you can practice this on just two notes, just pick two notes and slur between them working on getting smoothness between your fingers, but also giving more energy to the first note, having it die away into the second note. When that's easy for you, you can try the reverse and try accenting into the second note. And when that's under your control, you can try chaining three notes together 
and accenting the first. Second. And then the third note. If you want even more exercises to help you master accents, mastering the air, mouth, and hand technique needed to have control over these accents, you can check out this free PDF I have for download at ovalfiles.com. Link, of course, is in the description. So this etude is a ton of fun to work on. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. I'm about to play through a little bit more of it, in fact. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out ovofiles.com for reads and free resources. And of course, when in doubt, play beautifully.